The intention of this video is to highlight just a small sampling of our teachers' efforts, a day in the life of the academy, if you will, and also to showcase the incredible work that students are doing in our classroom. It's interesting. At this point in the life of the academy, we are able to put more tools and options into the hands of students and teachers than ever before. But at the same time, teachers and students come to the academy and to the classroom with their own prior experiences and preferences with technologies and devices. So uh, in an effort to support this shift in the landscape, we realized that it was important to incorporate real expertise and teaching and learning into our information technology office. Uh, transitions like this afford us an opportunity to extend ourselves beyond the traditional support models of the past and connect us more deeply to classrooms. Within this context, we created the Educational Initiatives Team to help respond to new and emerging environments. One of the major initiatives that the Technology Office has been engaged in this year is the official introduction of our new learning management system, Canvas. And so far, about half the teachers are using it for one or more of their courses. And overall, the response has been pretty positive. And the nice thing is that Canvas has a lot of features and functions that seem to be allowing teachers to try different things or organize their course in different ways. Uh, so it's been interesting to note how teachers are starting to use it. Another focus of our attention and efforts this year has been portable devices. The students can choose to bring a laptop or a tablet of their preference to campus with them so that each student has a device available for use inside and outside of classroom. And the nice thing about this is that when students have been assigned a creative project or a multimedia assignment or something like that, they can record audio and shoot video and manipulate images and do whatever they need to do much more easily because they have this really powerful device with them at all times. Teachers and students are obviously doing a lot of great things uh, with and without technologies here on campus. I think it's important to acknowledge that when we introduce new systems and processes, canvas, devices, that comes with challenges. And it's no surprise that some of the challenges are technological and some of them are logistical. I think we forget that some of the challenges are also pedagogical. When we have a new tool or a new way of doing things, as teachers, we have to ask ourselves the questions about how best to use that tool or process for our students. Uh, and sometimes it's easy to adjust, and sometimes it requires some more rethinking of what we do. Part of our work is to make sure that students and teachers can use the things that they have. So we've been really focused this year on Canvas, getting the word out about Canvas, and giving teachers the opportunity to learn how to use it. So that's involved everything from formal trainings to informational lunches to drop-in sessions. Another thing we've tried to get the word out about is lynda.com, which is an amazing resource for any teacher that wants their students to use any kind of software in class. It, um, it's, it's a great online resource so that students can actually teach themselves the software and it removes the burden of software instruction from the instructor. So that's been a focus of our efforts as well. Part of our work is also on the conceptual side of things. Uh, Lilia and Adrian and others have raised really good questions about the impact on students of living in a really media-rich and hyper-connected world. Through a grant from the Abbott Academy Association, as well as generous funding from the Dean of Faculty and Dean of Studies offices, I'll be able to bring guest instructors to campus this summer for some professional development around this theme of digital literacies and helping students develop uh, skills for the world that we live in. So through some workshops and some collaborative work with teachers, the goal is to have good conversations about what this 
means for Andover students here uniquely and also to develop some models for how to pursue these skills and habits of mind with students in the context of academic courses and within existing curricula. The students and faculty here are doing amazing work and we still have more work to do. It'll be interesting to see where this all takes us and what we learn.